Cyclone Ilsa is dissipating over Australia after making a remarkable landfall. Yesterday, a Category 5 tropical cyclone was one of the most strongest storms ever to make landfall in the Western Australia. Right now, it's position 22.9 degrees south, 127.1 degrees east. And it's a dissipating tropical storm with sustained winds of 45 miles per hour a pressure of 994 millibars and moving to the east at 24 miles per hour and latest 22 hours on Perth, April the 14th. There's practically no wind field available since it's a dissipating tropical storm practically falling apart so rapidly. Conditions are extremely bad now and it's going to be like that until its dissipation soon in the next hours. Also, there's no cyclone warnings, cyclone watches only. It's at west northwest of Alice Springs, 615 kilometers away. It's expected to bring some light rain, but practically no wind at all. And practically all the agencies have stopped issue, uh, issuing some warnings or any kind of bulletins of ILSA since it's a dissipating storm. Here in Force 13, we believe it's a 45 mile per hour sustained wind tropical storm and it much likely to be the last advisory of this tropical cyclone. Particularly, its track is going to head on uh, to the north and possibly emerge into the Gulf of Carpentaria on April the 16th or April 17th, but it's not, but it's not expected to uh, to reorganize or it's expect or it's not expected to to survive at all. And well, it's in the middle of nowhere in the Australia, so that's why it's a blank uh, screen. So there's nothing to see here at all. <laughs> and the total rainfalls. One, two inches possibly, some parts maybe three inches, but nothing extremely severe at all. And, and it's moving really fast as well, so practically there's no danger at all re representing uh, from Ilsa. As well, the winds practically minimal at that stage and a quick, a quick dissipating tropical cyclone and practically is expected to, to be dead in the next 12 hours or less. And the multimodels are saying uh, this, the maximum sustained winds are expected to to decrease rapidly and practically completely nailed by the next 12 hours possibly. The sea surface, sorry, the the wind shear is expected to increase extremely extremely fast to 30 even 40 knots in the next hour. So the, of course that's practically a gunfire against Ilsa right now. Sea surface temperatures, nothing in Australia because it's overland and the humidity completely low, nothing uh, re really good for Ilsa right now as it's overland as well. And you can see the Forster team's website, uh, new floaters, new imagery, new material we have for you, brand new, so you better go there and enjoy all the new tools we have for you, so please check them out. That's all for now.